welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. If you like my videos, hit the freaking like button and subscribe to my channel, okay? I need to get big so I can get rich, boy. Thank you. Anyway, today we're going to talk about the difference between the taxation of Roth, TSP, or IRA contributions and traditional TSP or IRA contributions, okay? These two tax advantage accounts are taxed in different ways, and they actually have an effect on how big your paycheck is, all right? This is gonna make it very simple, all right? Now, you heard a Roth and you heard a traditional. It may be a little confusing, but basically, think of a Roth TSP or a Roth IRA or traditional, same thing. It's all about tax advantages, okay? Either you pay taxes up front or you pay them on the back end, all right? That's all you need to really think about. IRAs, 401ks, TSPs, just think good taxes. Tax is good, all right? That's how simple it is. All right, so today we're gonna compare the taxation of a contribution to a Roth IRA or TSP or 401k, it doesn't matter, it's all the same thing when it comes to taxation, or the traditional, all right? These are taxed differently. All right, starting with the Roth. Let's say your gross monthly pay is $4,000 a month. That's before you pay any taxes. If you want to contribute $500 to your Roth a month, which maxes it out if it's an IRA, you first pay taxes on your paycheck, all right? So this example, I'm assuming that you're paying a 25% tax rate. So if you want to contribute to a Roth and you make $4,000 a month, you're gonna to have to pay your taxes. So you're gonna have to pay $1,000 of taxes before you do anything else. So you pay your taxes and you have $3,000 left over. Now that you've paid taxes on your paycheck, then you can contribute that $500 to your Roth IRA or TSP or whatever, all right? When you contribute that $500, that leaves your take home pay at $2,500, all right? Taxation, for Roth, you pay the taxes up front and that reduces your take home pay. But on the back end, once you meet all the requirements, and eventually we'll go through it, once you meet all the requirements, you're not gonna pay any taxes on the back end, all right? So taxes first for the Roth, all right? Moving on to the traditional. Now the traditional is different. With the traditional IRA or TSP, you get a tax deduction up front for your contributions to your IRA or 401k or TSP. So in this example, if you want to contribute to your traditional IRA, you have your gross monthly pay of $4,000 before taxes. But before you, take, before you pay any taxes, you put your $500 in the traditional account. So that $500 is not taxed. There is no tax paid on that $500 contribution, okay? So you have a gross pay of $4,000, you put $500 in your traditional IRA or whatever, and then you have $3,500 left over. Now that $3,500 will be taxed, and it may even lower your marginal tax bracket, which is one of the advantages of the traditional IRA. But we'll go into that later. But here, as you can see, you're only being taxed on the 35. With the Roth, you pay the taxes up front on the 4,000 because you're gonna get a tax benefit later in life. If you're doing the traditional, you get the tax benefit up front. So you take out the $500 from your pay and you're only taxed on the $3,500, all right? So you subtract out the taxes, notice they're lower because it's the same tax rate on a lower amount of taxable income, and boom, you have a take-home pay of 2625. Now, compare that to the Roth take-home pay. You're taking home more every month if you're contributing to a traditional IRA because the amount of money that you make, there's less tax. Less of that money is being taxed because that contribution is being put aside in a tax advantage account. Now, to sum this all up, with the traditional, you get the tax benefit up front. You don't pay taxes on that $500. But when you're in retirement and you withdraw that $500, you're gonna pay taxes on that $500, okay? Taxes on the back end, taxes on the front end, right? Now, which one should you contribute to? 
it's a long story and I'll make another video about it. But if you're in the lower tax brackets, you know, the 10, what is it, the 22, the 12, whatever, you might want to do Roth, okay? But if you're making big fat stacks and you're paying 37% taxes, plus your communist state taxes, you may want to look at the traditional, okay? But it's all about what taxes you think you're going to pay in retirement versus what you're paying now, all right? We'll go, into the we'll go into more detail later. But hopefully this example makes sense. Traditional tax benefit up front, Roth tax benefit on the back end, okay? I like the Rothy, but that's my opinion, all right? Did you like this video? Well, I want you to like the freaking video, and I want you to subscribe to my channel, and I want you to share this video to everybody you know, okay? Because I am the master at financial clarification. Without me, you would be lost. You would have no freaking clue what a Roth was and how it's taxed versus a traditional and how it's taxed, okay? So smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, share the video, and leave a comment and we'll have a reasonable discussion, okay? You guys have a wonderful day.